that I want to do a cold stop, but we got to get to this next subject. Is uh, yeah, no, no, no. I, got you. I, I know you want to talk about it. I can feel it in. I can feel it in the wind, in the air, in the. I don't know. Ah, I can feel it. <laughs> How about them Chiefs? Ooh, we. Hey, I knew we all were gonna get there. It was rough in the beginning. We, I talk shit. Nah, I didn't really talk shit. I, I'm not. Yeah, really. you did a I'm little. Not that oh, person. Go, I'm go not ahead that go person. and feature Robert De Niro. He was like. <clears throat> You did a little bit. You insulted my friend a little bit. A little bit. A little bit you did. Nah, it, um, te dije, wait, that's how, it, that's how most NFL teams work every season. If you go back and look at it, I always said the ones that lose early and they're a good team, but they lose early, <coughs> siempre les sale bien. They it's build. the teams that are not good who start out. And, and what I mean by that is like, for example, the Steelers. They were decent, but they were not good. And if they start out with the 13 wins and no losses, mm -hmm. they are not going to make it in the playoffs. That's almost it's like they get overconfident, but they're not, they're not, they're overconfident over something that they don't have, which is not great skills. Yes. So it's like, it's, 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 it's they're also good, about but they're not great. But they're it's like, about, it's about peaking. Yes. It's a peaking at the right time. Yeah. So, I mean, even the Ra the Raiders, they started peaking at the right time and made it to the playoffs. Shout out to Big Al. He called it. He said it was yes. going to happen. I was we like. Did. It was a great year. Honestly, it was a good season. Year. It was a good season. I'm proud of it. You are? Okay. We'll get we'll get to the Raiders real quick. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, if you can go back to all the episodes where everybody, uh, I said that Green Bay Packers, they were going to choke. They choke every year. They're going to choke again this year. That was crazy. I don't know. I mean. That, that was I, – I didn't get to watch the game because I was at work, but I watched the highlights when I got home, and I was like, what is this shit, dude? It was a crazy-ass game. We're one day removed from that, okay? And, yes. and And no news has said it. Nobody has said it. This is my instincts. Yeah. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be in the AFC West next year. He's definitely changing up teams. I don't know where exactly he's going to end, but he definitely he, – He's going to be in the AFC West. And I don't know if it's going to be the Raiders or it's going to be Denver Broncos. I think it's going to be the Broncos. Yeah, I, I think. I mean, it'd be a hard. This is the hardest division to come into. Yeah. And honestly, if if the Raiders ever got a quarterback, and I know everybody says, "Oh, look at the statistics on Carr." I mean, no, when I'm when you're down, person. when you're down five touchdowns, dog, those don't mean nothing. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. There's that one. Person. I've always said it. Carr is not bad. He's a good quarterback. He's a here's the thing about Carr. He's a good quarterback. He's a great person. Like, and here's the reason why I say this. I actually work with some people who are really close to him because I, I live in the Bay Area. And they say, like, who you see on that field and all this buildup that they have of him just being a good leader and like a genuinely good person. Like it's all real. Like that dude is a real ass, good ass person, like good human being. But that makes people build this mentality that he's a great quarterback. He's not a great quarterback. He's just a good quarterback and a great person. That's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? But it's not what takes you to the Super Bowl. Like, and, and people can fight. It's like, oh, it's a defense. It's, it's like, yeah, it's a combination of a lot of things, but you still need a solid quarterback to get there. Who wins every year? It's a good defense. It's a good offense. It's a good coordinator, but it still has Behind all that, there is a good QB, and I mean a great QB, and he's just not a great QB. It's just the truth. I'm okay with admitting it. Great so, person. Oh, he can have all the records for the longest yards. He can have all that, but I don't even look at that stuff. Full. There's honesty. one. I'm there's not one a fan thing. What's the one? The one statistic that matters. It's if you win or lose. Yeah, exactly. Win, win or, or lose. lose. At the end of the day, you threw for... It doesn't minutes. matter if it's by an inch or a mile. No, uh, oh, damn. You're about to give me it. Inspired. I'm about to go outside and play catch. It's, it's, it's family, nah. bro. No, nah, but... So, that's how I feel. And if Aaron Rodgers were to go to, to the Raiders, that's, that's over. It's, a, it's that, a game changer. It's a game yeah. changer for sure. I mean, we got a good offensive line. Like, it's just... Oh, the defense. Yeah. Max Crosby is a he's a beast. Monster, dog. Yeah, yeah he is. You guys went through hell. You guys went through hella stuff this year, though. This yep. that this season was like that's why I say I'm proud of it because as ridiculous as it was to us to make it to the playoffs, and it's been a while, y'all. You know what I mean? For us to make it to the playoffs and to not lose, like who was it? Who was that lost? Just it was the saddest shit ever. Was it the 
The Patriots. Uh, Patriots. When Damn. they got whooped by the Bills. Damn, they got whooped by hey, the Bills. You know what? Tell me why I, I don't like watching those games. Like when they're game, I, 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 me, even me, who watches every single game of every mm. single season, I can't watch those kind of games when it's just a slaughter like that. Yeah, no, it's an, I don't, I'm not a fan either. I like the back and forth. I like going all the way until we're like, is this going to go to the overtime? Yeah. You know what I mean? Those I mean, the those are games. the, yeah, those are the best. I games. feel like here's the deal though, as much as sometimes it was kind of frustrating when I was watching some of the Raider games this year. Every the, freaking Raider game. But huh? here's the deal, though. Those games, every single one of them, crazy. Like, just the last minute. Like, some of them were just our bad. Like, let's just be honest about it. And we shouldn't have been in those moments. We should have won easily. But yeah. some of those other ones that were just battles, where I'm like, I wish that was a Super Bowl game. Like, it doesn't matter what teams these are. Those are the type of right. games that we need in the Super Bowl. Like, that's the type of games that I like to see. Didn't they have the record for the most overtime Games I'm pretty sure, season. and if we didn't, we got damn close because I think it was like every other damn game, bro. Crazy. I think they did. Probably. But um, so right. let's my, talk about what you think is about to happen. I'd like I want to get your perspective. I think I already know, and I think I'm right there with you on what you think is about to happen. Oh, Tampa Bay is gonna lose today. Yes, uh, the Rams are gonna beat them. Uh, then the San Francisco 49ers are going to lose to the Rams. Yep. So it's going to be Chiefs Rams in the Super Bowl. I think so too. Um, and I, you called it. The, you called it in the very beginning. I remember you telling me that. On one of those, on one of these episodes, you said that it was the Rams and the Chiefs that are going to go for it. Yeah, yeah. I was really high on uh, Cowboys. My whole oh. season, this whole season, even the last, the, the, a Bro, that's an, they're the other Packers. They they we may choke Raiders choke throughout the season. That's like a thing we do, unfortunately. Fuck it. It's it's a reality. I would be lying if I told you yeah, we don't. But the Rams and the Cowboys, I mean the Rams, Cowboys, the Packers and the Cowboys get to the playoffs and choke, bro. Like it's just yeah, it's, well, it's, that's it's, what I'm worried it's about. Tradition. The Rams. That, I'm actually worried a little bit about the Rams on that. I would be too. Because I I've and, and then I'm gonna say this right now, Eli Mitchell. Elijah Mitchell is going to lead the league in in rushing yards okay. in 2022 season. I do the monster way. Yeah, I dude. can just see it. I can just see it. Man, if the Chiefs had that Wato. Woo, we Y'all got enough weapons though. Like let's be. Uh, we need a running back. There, we, we don't have a running, have a running back. back. That's true. That's we true. don't have a running back. We have a running back that'll get you a sprint for 78 yards he, he yaps up a little way mm -hmm. but we don't have that running you don't back have that five that seven way. yards every time yeah five, no no we need that time. one yard running back yeah that one yard running back we need beast I, mode exactly a beast mode type it's battle. like it doesn't matter what he's gonna get you that yard lev, lev bell in his prime mm -hmm. he was amazing fool he had one thing that i've never seen anybody do since and it's his patience like when lev bell would would he would get the ball Mm -hmm. And it'd be a he'd be rushing from let's say they're in um in the I formation and he's behind a fullback and he's the tailback and the fullback were to sprint this way, Lev Bell would not go with him. Lev Bell would yeah. get the rock, either A look right, he might go with him and then hold the back of his jersey and then like kind of guide him where he wants, sacrifices him and then se pela al way. Yeah. Or he would let him go like stop. And then assess it and then go, dog. He was amazing in his prime. Lev Bell was, but we used to have this dude named Priest Holmes. Priest Holmes is the greatest running back of all times, my opinion. Yeah. No, you know, everybody's going to say Sanders or they're going to say somebody else. But my opinion, Priest Holmes. Was hey, what do you think tremendous. about your guys' old line? Do you think that they leave uh, Mahomes unprotected too quickly? Like, I feel like he's doing a lot of, like, quick throws that he should have. I feel like he should have more time in the pocket. If he had more time in the pocket, it would be game changer forever, unstoppable. But I don't know. Maybe it was just the the games I watch. I feel like he doesn't have enough time, and they're. I know that they're always blitzing him for a reason because they don't want to let him play. They don't but want him. Get they him don't comfortable. Want, they, exactly. But do you think that has a little bit to do with you guys' O line? Um, the O line is completely new. Every single piece of it is new. Okay. So it's just like a, a grill. If you go buy a grill. You can't just throw the carne right yeah, on it. Yeah. You got to let that thing burn you gotta off. It. You got to yeah. season it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that that O-line, as the season's been getting better, huh, season? Yeah. It's been getting seasoned as the season. Hey! Ah, 
That's why it costs season. Anyways, um, so as the season's been going on, they've been getting seasoned, and then they've been a lot better. And that's only going to lead to them being tremendous next season. Oh, possibly. I see it. I could see it. I could definitely I, see it. I could see, like, trends. Like, when, because like I said, I watch every single game, dog. Like, I think that it's going to be the Chiefs and the, the, the Bengals. They're going to be the... You really see the Bengals lifting themselves up like that next year? Well, it's going to be the Chiefs and the Bengals. Yeah, yeah, because if the Chiefs win today, they play. Oh, the I'm th- I thought you were talking about like you're talking about trends for next year. Sorry, my oh bad. no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, oh yeah, it's I'm. Uh, I don't, I don't. I think you guys are gonna swap. I mean, uh, mop the floor with the Bengals though. To be honest, I know because we only have one battle to worry I, about. To be honest with you, is yeah, you do, and that's that Jamar Chase. The Jamar fact Chase. that yeah, Chase is ridiculous. That's but, it. Yeah, that that's it. That's all they got though. That's to be all honest, they got. Honest with you. So and, and with the Bills today. There's this guy that we have on our defense who I cannot stand. He's he's washed up. I guarantee you this is his last year. His name is Dan Sorensen. They call yeah. him Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan. So he's that vato man. is at the end of his career probably. Yeah, I'm going to say it. he's at the end of his career. He gets beat on all the coverages. He's a safety, but he had kind of a build of a linebacker. And he gets beat by every single tight end, dog. Mm. Anyways, he's – they. They need to dr- keep him out of coverage. If he drops back and tries to do play a cover two or prevent defense with him in coverage, he's smoked and they're going to score a touchdown. That's where you're going to see him. So that that's no. So I'm not an NFL coach or nothing, but I'm trying to say like I literally have the specific job that he would be tremendous at today. That would be a quarterback spy on on his dad, Josh Allen. Okay, I would literally rush. Three, three or four. That's it. I wouldn't rush. I wouldn't blitz Josh Allen because I think that would be a mistake. Mm-hmm. Rush three or four. We, we have some really good open space. Yeah. We were, and then just keep him back in as a quarterback spy. And then I know you typically your linebackers are your quarterback spies, yeah. but with Josh Allen, he's gonna beat the coverage. You know, he's gonna beat the. He's gonna get the angle on most of our linebackers. Yep. So pull up one of our safeties. Who's a pretty big safety, and I think he can, I think he can uh, play quarterback spy. So by the time this airs, we're gonna know. Yeah, Either we're gonna know if it happened or not. If Dirty Dan was in the game, and he was dropping in coverage, Ste- uh, it won't be Stephon Diggs. There, there's no way they're gonna put Charcarius Ward with Stephon Diggs. But um, Dawson Knox would have two touchdowns, probably two to three touchdowns if. Dirty Dan Sorensen is in coverage. coverage. Yeah. Okay. Now, if they bring up, they're probably going to have Thornhill. They're going to have all these other battles that will play the coverage. But if the quarterback spy is Dirty Dan Sorensen, Josh Allen is going to have less than 60 rushing yards. If we can keep him down below 60, because I think he's going to – six. I mean, I think his best weapon is his legs. Yeah. He, he's he been some, showing it. He's been showing it. passes, but – Keep him below 60, and I think we have a decent chance of winning. If he, if he gets to rush for 120 yards or 100 scrimmage yards, eh, it's a done deal. We lost, yeah. yeah. So he's the key to their Just so everyone win. knows, we're recording this Sunday morning. So Sunday morning. That's why we got the coffee cup. That's what, that's, so that's yes, what we're we're coffee. I got some good coffee today. Bro. You know how normally I'm Folgers Black? Mm-hmm. Um, I got some, like, some designer kind of coffee. I got it. I see me last time. I was drinking it like this. But but did you grind it yourself? Oh, que chingados. That's hell the, no. That's... So I, I'm gonna give you a tip, okay? Then and, and, and we can move on to the next conversation <laughs> here because I think we out football talked everybody right now. But here's the reality: is uh, coffee. When you go buy coffee, get the one that's like the full beans. You gotta get the whole bean. So when you grind why, it, you why, 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 why do I have to get the full bit for? Because, what are you, what are you because trying to say? it's our family now, Spencer. So <laughs> you can grind it right there at the store, but get the one that's the beans because you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf and it's already been grinded and it's losing some of like the aroma and the strength of it. You know what I mean? So if it's on the, it's the bean still, it's like a protective layer to the taste. You know what I mean? If you grind it right there, that's good. If you have a grinder at home, even better. I like to grind my coffee and then make it. It tastes like 10 times better, bro. It's, it's delicious. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. But thanks for the advice. 
Uh, if, if once these games are all over and everything, and y'all are listening to this podcast and, and, and you know, who's going to the, to the, the divisional Super championships Bowl, and then the Bowl. Super Bowl and stuff like that. Um, let us know who you think is going to take it. Uh, maybe we just talked a lot of shit and it didn't happen. I know. Be- I, I do think <laughs> the chiefs are going to win though. Sorry, Eddie, but I do think that the chiefs won. I do think so. Let's hope I'm not wrong. I think they have all the weapons. I'm nothing against the Bills, nothing against Allen doing a great job and everything, but I don't think it's enough, to be honest with you, especially if they get into the rhythm. If you let the Chiefs get into a rhythm, it's, it's just it's ridiculous from there.